Hello guys, welcome to another MP Mobile video. What we're doing today is something interesting. I never tested it myself, so I reckon it's going to be useful for you as well. So today we're testing two things. The first thing is whether this particular effect, team debuffs that are being reflected. So whether those things stack. And I chose the Lizard team because the Lizard team has also 30% resistance, uh, actually chance to reflect any debuffs. We got, uh, we're getting additional 50% chance to reflect any debuffs in the Torturer, and we're getting additional 50% chance to reflect any debuffs from the Edenian Force Rejection Field. So, if this stat is additive, which in my opinion it isn't, we should never get any debuffs whatsoever on us. We should always reflect the debuffs back on the enemy. And I also have the Viper Hood so that my Barak is more or less immortal and not, nothing can kill him. Uh, in order to make him 100% uh, immortal, I'm going to give Farmits that he had to move Cybot. So on tag, Barak is going to get also shield. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into fight and see what's going to happen. Uh, so I will tag to Baraka immediately. And then I will wait for them to do any debuffs. If they cannot do any debuffs, we're just going to kill them. Actually, you know what? This, this is a bad team. Because I just realized those three guys they don't really can do a lot of debuffs. I mean, they can do some debuffs, but uh, no. I need a team that can do a lot of debuffs. Actually, I just realized... The best way to test this against Injustice Raiden, and I just screwed it because Injustice Raiden was there and he could power drain me every single second. Uh, Alright, anyways, this tier is kind of okay as well. So let's see whether any of those guys will be able to do anything to me, like dot, stun, power drain, anything. If this stat is additive, I'll have a 130% chance to reflect any debuffs back to the enemy, which basically means that they wouldn't do uh, anything to me ever. Okay. Alright, so far nothing. Do something to me. Come on. All right. There we go. Burning. I already have bleed and burning. Still reflected. Okay. Come on, do something to me. <sighs> Don't do special too. I don't, I don't really want him to do special too because he'll probably kill me. Oh my god, that was little. That was so unfortunate. Anyways. Powder reflected. But still, we saw Hansu in the beginning set us on fire and inflicted bleed on us. So, anyways, I'm going to kill this guy. Uh, and then I will be um, waiting for Hansu. Just die. Just die, Baraka. You're so annoying. Do, do the combo or whatever. Alright, do something. Okay, alright, so 100% I can confirm that, unfortunately, uh, this stat is not additive. So even if you have 130% uh, chance to reflect, it's not actually 130% in each uh, of those items or team passives are being evaluated um, independent one from another. What I mean by that is that if a fire is applied to new, first thing first, uh, it's evaluated again a 30% chance to being um, deflected from Lizard Jade passive. If it fails, it goes to the Torturer, 50%, it can fail again, then it goes to the Edenian uh, Shield, and if it fails again, then uh, you will get the specific debuff applied on you. The chance is super small, it's about 80-85% to chance to reflect the debuff. Uh, if this thing is not additive. However, another thing that I want to check today is uh, whether if I have 50% chance uh, to reflect the buff and 50% resistance to all the buffs, whether uh, I will have 100% uh, resistance to the buffs. So in a way, I want to know whether those two things stack together, which I again believe they don't, but it's a good way to test. Now I'm going to um, equip the Earth Elemental Face Mask and I will go to the talent section, I'm going to remove bear stance and I'm going to um, allocate 5 points into hawk stance. Again, the reason being is I want to have 50% resistance to all the buffs and 50% chance to reflect the debuff to the enemy. So if they work together, if they stack, which again is highly unlikely, but still I want to test it. If they stack, then they will never be able to do anything to me because I will either reflect it or I'm going to resist it. Alright, the torturer. Okay, let's start. I was really disappointed by the fact that uh, the team ref the reflection thing doesn't stack. I mean, there's 
not many items in the game that can do that, so in my opinion they should have stuck, but it is what it is. And both of these epics, uh, epics uh, pieces, and both of them have this thing being unlocked at maximum fusion, which is crazy difficult to do. Have to spend... No, again, I got... It's not a hundred percent. Don't resist it. Again, you see, I'm reflecting the burning, but unfortunately, uh, he actually uh, set me on fire or whatever, or he made me bleed something like this. You can see how difficult this guy is to kill. It's incredible. I'm not doing anything. I'm just gaining tons of power. Frostbite reflected. Okay. I mean, as usual, the best guy to test this on is our guy Hansu, so I'm going to kill uh, Sub Zero uh, and we're going to last the tw last 20 seconds of the video. Oh my god! He's doing so many different debuffs on his basic attack, so he's a uh, very useful training ground. There we go. He applied bleed to me. Is he going to kill me? I hope he does. Oh, he's going to kill me. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to resurrect him by killing these guys. I'm still going to kill this guy. Bam, bam. Alright. Haha, <laughs> he's back! Yeah, definitely. 100% doesn't stack, guys. Alright, so let's finish this and finish the video. If I have to summarize it, guys, unfortunately, uh, the ability that you can unlock super super hard on only two pieces so far uh, to my knowledge of course correct me if i'm wrong uh, the ability to have uh, the buffs is reflected back to the enemy doesn't stack so the stat isn't additive and uh, if you wanna have 50 percent of this chance plus 50 percent resistance to all the buffs again it is not additive the only thing that it is additive actually is the resistance to all the buffs so you can stack that for sure it's being tested however chance to reflecting cannot really stack it is an additive which is unfortunate but this is uh, everything uh, that you need to know from this video and i'm going to finish the video with a quick um, check on the 25 percent of the assassin scarlet pack if you don't have a lot of souls and if you are a beginner don't buy anything in this pack it's not really worth the only good character out of the tree on low fusion is assassin scarlet if you already have her, it's not really worth it, but if you are a bit like a veteran or something and you don't have the Assassin team maxed out, go ahead and buy it. If you're not a veteran, if you don't have a lot of souls and you're wondering what to open, this is not the pack for you. I hope you found this video useful. See you next time. Take care. Perfect!